can you make this awesome plasma cannon? Oh, plasma cannon. Yeah, way cooler than your useless air cannon. You sound like a robot. All right, I'll use this bucket to make a plasma mm -hmm. cannon ten times bigger than you. Let's see how powerful it is. Reminder, for scientific demonstration only, no, no imitation. We cut off both ends of multiple buckets and join them together. We connect the sturdy hose several meters long and secure it to the table. Attach a gas tank, and the plasma cannon is basically done. What's the point if it's just big? Does it have any power? Let's wait and see. I can't even leave the pipe. This setup is way too smooth. What do you mean? That's lame! <laughs> to get the best performance from the cannon, we'll need to test how much butane to inject. Clearly it wasn't enough earlier. Let's try adding 10 more seconds. <laughs> that tiny flame? Who are you trying to scare? Keep going. 15 seconds. <gasps> Give it up. Woo! Not bad. Next, it's time to test its power. Let's head to the rooftop. Reminder again, professional operation under safe conditions. No limitation. This experiment includes high school chemistry knowledge. Explosion limit. A combustible gas will only explode when mixed with air in a specific ratio and ignited. When butane is filled into the plasma cannon, the concentration inside the hose exceeds the explosion limit. So it only burns quietly, which is the blue flame we see. But when the flame reaches the mouth of the bottle, the concentration enters the explosion rate. And we'll witness... Ready? Ignition! There's no way this can knock down a brick wall! <laughs> 